New developments in the Russia investigation. We're learning more about what the president's son, Don Jr., did and didn't answer when he was grilled for hours by the House Intelligence Committee over that meeting with a Russian lawyer in Trump Tower. Our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, has more from Washington. Good morning, Pierre. Robin, good morning. It was a high-stakes eight-hour marathon session behind closed doors. Much of it focusing on that controversial 2016 meeting at Trump Tower between senior Trump campaign officials and the Russians. Democrats on the committee wanting to know whether Donald Trump Jr. asked for and received dirt on Hillary Clinton during that meeting and who, if anyone, did he report to about the meeting. They also wanted to know what he discussed with his father, the president, when the story about the meeting broke. And Donald Trump Jr. released that initial misleading statement saying the Russian contact was about adoption. He acknowledged discussing that matter with his father. Uh, but refused to answer questions about that discussion. Would not answer any questions about the substance of conversations with his father. Not on this topic. When we asked him about his discussions with his father after the emails became public, uh, he and his attorney uh, invoked attorney-client privilege, which we do not believe applies here. But Republicans had a far more generous view of the grilling. Uh, I think he's answered everything. He answered everything honestly, totally, unequivocally. And what, any evidence of collusion? No, absolutely no. At one point during the lengthy session, the session's sources tell us that ABC News, that Trump's lawyers wanted to know how much longer. The sources said Congressman Adam Schiff mentioned that Hillary Clinton sat for 11 hours of questioning on Benghazi. Trump Jr. shot back that was different. Four Americans were killed, he said. And Pierre, there are some new details you're saying about what, who Don Jr. spoke with in Trump Tower. Yes, while sources say Don Jr. would not discuss his conversations with his father about the statement concerning the Trump Tower meeting, he did acknowledge discussing the matter with Hope Hicks, the current director of communications for the White House. She may soon be interviewed by the special counsel, Robin. Pierre, lots of developments here on the Russia investigation, including this new evidence from Capitol Hill that Michael Flynn, when he was first president's national security advisor, was determined to get rid of these Russian sanctions. George, a key Democrat on the House Oversight Committee, has released an account from a whistleblower who claims that a Flynn business partner got a text message from Flynn stating that a project about nuclear reactors was, quote, good to go. The reason, according to Congressman Elijah Cummings, Flynn believes sanctions about Russia would be, quote, ripped up. Okay, Pierre Thomas, thanks very much.